welcome back to another keto video. Today I am not doing a food video for you. I decided I would kind of just go over and talk about keto with you. I always do food videos and I have to go grocery shopping. I've got some other recipes planned for you guys that I'll be doing, but I haven't gotten to the store yet and I thought I really want a video for you guys. So I thought I would go over and just discuss some keto stuff, you know? I've learned a lot over the years, you guys, that are new to me may not know, but the people that are new to me know that I've been ketogenic for almost four years. I'll be four years keto on November um, 5th, I believe it was, or November 4th of 2015, I started. And in 15 months, I lost 150 plus pounds, got down to 139, and I maintained there around 139 to like 142, pretty much maintained there, very easily maintained there um, for almost a year. And then I decided that I wanted to lose a little bit more weight. So in the last like eight to nine months, I've done different things. Um, also doing a lot of um, fasting. I'm learning a lot about fasting and everything. And I really love that. And we'll touch on that. But keto is so amazing. And I just want to go over a few things that are, you know, like true facts and things that are very important when doing ketogenic. It can be done so many ways, and if not done right, you're not going to be successful. I have been very successful. The people that have followed me are being very successful as well. Um, ketogenic is a very sustainable way of life. It's not a diet. It's, you know, just, it's really changing the whole world. It really is. Um, you know, it's just knowing and having the knowledge is important. I've learned a lot of knowledge myself, but I was taught by professionals. I have a professional keto, doc keto doctor and two keto nutritionists that I see. And of course, my brother Rob, who does this as a job. He's the first one that started the ketogenic five over five years ago, almost six years ago. Uh, lost his weight extremely fast. He did it in five months because he added exercise in and used his body fat. And that's something we're going to go over. I know a lot of you probably we already know this. I'm like a broken record. I've said it many times, but I do have new subscribers, so I like to explain all of it. Um, but anyways, I've learned from him too, and he does this now as a job. The ketogenic was designed three ways, okay? It's for losing, gaining, and maintaining. When keto was original, well, first, it's like almost Bible time eating. It's our ancestor eating time. It's way back. It's how they used to eat. But if we want to be technical about it, when keto was really like no one was about a hundred years ago it was designed for epilepsy for children that were having seizures they would put them in the state of ketosis which we do now for weight loss and they would stop the seizures okay but the problem was is these skinny children were losing weight so they had to figure out a way to be able to keep these children in a state of ketosis but help them so they wouldn't lose weight because they were skinny. So they put them on a high fat diet. So it was high fat, low carb, extremely low carb. In order to be in a state of ketosis, you want to be 20 carbs or less a day. Okay, so they had to be 70 to 75% of fat is what they would eat to maintain weight and not have any more seizures from being in a state of ketosis being 20 carbs or less. All right, um, but now a hundred years later, people are figuring this out, that it is working for weight loss, for people to lose weight and feel great after you get to a certain point to maintain weight, and also people for gaining weight. And that's what's great about it. But what people need to understand is when you are doing this for weight loss, and like I said, I myself am not a doctor, nor am I a nutritionist, but I was taught by professionals that are professional in ketogenic. Also, I watch many keto channels that are doctors and they, you know, they talk about it in there too. And I've learned a lot of things myself. I get true facts on everything. I do a lot of reading. Um, but what it is, um, is you want to use your body fat as your high fat source. And I cannot stress that enough. And I will not ever stop, you know, telling that in my videos so that people will be successful. Anybody starting the ketogenic way of life is going to lose weight if you are extremely overweight. I mean, even 50 pounds overweight. You're going to lose weight, okay? Somebody extremely obese is going to lose, you know, an extreme amount of weight in the beginning. But then you are going to plateau. If you are eating a lot of fat, you are still going to lose. Just like if you just cut out pop and went to diet pop, if you're extremely obese, you're going to lose weight. 
but in the ketogenic, you will continue to lose and not have any plateaus if you understand truly how this form works. You want to use your body fat as your high fat energy source. So the lower the fat you go, the better results you're going to have. Now, a lot of people think, well, losing weight fast isn't healthy. Um, it will ruin your metabolism. It will, do, you know, it's just not right to lose it that fast. Okay, those are all untrue facts, all right? Losing weight fast isn't going to hurt you at all. It's not going to slow your metabolism down. I am living proof. I have been doing it almost four years. I lost it extremely fast. My brother Rob did it extremely fast. We are keeping our weight off. He's almost six years. I'm almost four years. Um, everybody following me is keeping the weight off. My good friend Monica from Team Team Dave and Mon lost all of her weight in the, um, she's like 17 months in, I think, or 18 months in, almost two years in, and she lost 150 pounds um, and doing great because she did it the way we taught her, okay, that you use your body fat as your high fat. Now, the reason is, is because we aren't the same as these skinny epilepsy children that were doing it for, you know, to, to continue to maintain their weight. They didn't want to lose weight. But we're doing it now for a diet form to lose weight and then maintain and feel healthy. All right. So in the beginning, our body is its high fat source. That is your high fat. That doesn't mean that you're going to completely go zero fat because that'd be impossible to do. But go as low as you can. You're not going to be doing 70 to 75 percent fat grams until you hit maintenance mode. OK, you want to do around like. I would say 40 to 60 grams, depending on how large you are, how much fat you have on your body. Um, it's going to act as your energy source. I felt amazing when I used my body fat as my energy source. The weight was coming off. I never hit any plateaus. Neither did Monica. Neither did my brother Rob. Neither did the thousands that are following me haven't hit any plateaus. And if they did hit plateaus, I've discussed it with them. We went over, we figured it that they were eating still too much fat and all of that because our body has its own fat and that that's what you want to run it on. So basically then it seems like you're doing a low fat, low carb diet, but you're really not because if you are overweight, that is your high fat source. Okay. That is truly What's going to help you to lose your weight? Why would you consume so much fat? Because what's going to happen is your body has to burn those fat grams. Then when it gets to your body fat to try to burn them, what are you doing? You're eating again. Okay, so now it has to burn that. Now, I'm not saying you won't lose weight. Yes, there are many that will, but you will definitely hit a plateau and you will stay there forever if you don't understand that you will always have to be in a chlor uh, chlor uh, I'm sorry, a deficit, a caloric deficit. Okay, you will always have to be in that way till you hit maintenance. And even in maintenance, you're going to up calories, but you're still going to be in a deficit. So you don't ever gain your weight back. Everybody has a certain amount of calories that they can consume to lose weight and to maintain weight or to gain weight. Okay, so that being said, you just got to remember that you want to use your high fat on your body. That's what you want. You want to start with the high fat on your body, go as low as fat as possible, eating low lean meats. No, you don't got to cook it in coconut oil and in butter like people tell you, or, you know, in olive oil. You can cook it in water in a nonstick pan. You can eat lower lean meats. They are not going to hurt you to eat lower lean because guess what? Your body's going to kick in and give you so much energy and make you feel so incredible. You're not going to know what to do with yourself. Okay. And this was taught to me by true professionals. That's why I've been so successful. And if somebody is trying to do this and they're being taught to eat high fat and they don't, you know, they're not successful, they're going to give up. That's why they still say that 99% of people will fail at diets. Well, one thing is don't ever look at this as a, as a diet. It is a way of life. You're going to do this for the rest of your life. But the great thing is, is once you hit maintenance, you get to increase the calories and increase the fats. Okay. We're going to go over fats with you though. But Starting with step one is you're going to use your body fat as your high fat energy source. That's the most important thing to understand. Keep your carb at 20 and a moderate amount of protein. Okay, some people even go too high of protein and that will kick you out of ketosis. That will still spike your insulin levels, okay? You will have high blood sugar levels still if you're eating too much protein. It's one pound per, um, or I'm sorry, it's, how do they say it? It's half your body current weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you would eat 100 grams of protein, okay? 
And you want to try to do that. Protein is very important. The most important macro on the ketogenic is your protein. So you want to keep that around half your body current weight. All right. If you go over a little bit, you're not going to hurt yourself. If you go under a little bit, you're not going to hurt yourself. But try to stay within that range. That is important so you don't lose hair, so you feel good and all of that. Okay. But fat and carb. You don't have to worry about the carb. You can go zero and do carnivore. Just eat meat. You don't even have to eat any carbs at all because your energy source isn't going to come from carbs anymore because you're we're so low on carb that you're, you're going to convert over to fats. That's what's going to be running and giving you the energy but your body fat will give you that energy. So you could go zero carb, and as far as the fat, you can go low with that too. Use your body fat and watch the melt, or the melt, the weight melt away, it will. And you're going to see incredible results. Now, I just watched a video on Dr. Berg. I really like Dr. Berg. He tries to sell some products and stuff like that, but he's very smart when it comes to ketogenic. He said, quote unquote, Stay with people and work with people that show real results with that are skinny people that come on here and are teaching you because they obviously know they're ketogenic. They know how they're doing it because they show real results. The proof, like I always said, is in the pudding, but keto pudding. <laughs> Okay, the proof is in the pudding. You see me, guys. You see me all the time in my videos. You've seen me before and after photos. You've seen how large I was. I was at one time almost 300 pounds. I am down to 128 to 132, a range right in between there. I went from a size 3X down to a size extra small to small. And um, pants, I went from a 24 to 26 jean down to a size 24. So, yeah, it's just amazing. And I, I bring that proof to you guys. You guys see it. I'm bringing it to you. There's no lies here. You guys see it. I have no reason to lie to you. There's no fake here. There's no illusion. I'm not magical. I can't do magic. I can't make myself look thin. I am a thin person. I worked hard to get here and I did it the way I was trained. Okay, so the most important macro is your protein. Fat can go low and carb can be zero. That's what you want to do. And like I said, he even said on there, Dr. Berg said, follow people that show real, real you know, real results. Another mistake people are making is I tell you to follow whoever you want, whoever you feel comfortable with, but stick with one person, maybe two that are kind of doing the same thing. Don't go overboard and follow all these people because you're going to get all these different outlooks on keto and how to do it. And you're going to get so overwhelmed and so confused and you're just going to quit. You're going to say, I've done it this way, I've done it that way, nothing's working. Okay. So stick with somebody that brings real proof and real, you know, results to the table to show you that they're doing it. Now I heard somebody one time, uh, I don't know if somebody told me or somebody wrote it, said, why would you follow a skinny person? You want to follow a fat person and watch their journey. Well, that is true, but those people aren't bringing real results to you. You want to see somebody that literally was 300 pounds, as myself, and now at 128 pounds. That's what you want to do. You want to follow somebody that is bringing real results to the table because obviously I know how to help you then, right? I know how to help you. Everybody will respond differently to different things, different, you know, like I've, I've, you know, watched videos on different um, sugars, you know, fake sugars like that. Everybody will respond differently to that. And some people can't eat like veggies. Some people can. Some people can have uh, berries. Some people can. not So everybody will respond differently like that. But you will not respond differently. Everybody will be the same for weight loss if you use your body fat. You are all going to drop enormous amount of weight quickly. You know, I mean, I was doing two, three pounds a week. I mean, and then as time went on, of course, it got less and less. Remember, as time goes on, you get skinnier and skinnier. It gets harder and harder to do because you don't have as much fat on your body. But everybody will lose if they use their body fat as their high fat source. So it's important to follow one or two people that are bringing real proof to the table to you, you know, real results. And they know what they're talking about. Then they know how to help you. I was taught by professionals. That's why I know I can help you. So it's important for that too. Don't follow a bunch of people or, you know, if there is somebody out there that is doing, you know, this way of life and it's taking them years to get the weight off. And, you know, some people don't care. They just want to be healthy. They don't care. You know, there's still trying to lose, but they don't really care. The thing is, is 99% of people do care. They do want to get their weight off. They do want to be skinny. They want to get there quickly. They want to get to maintenance mode and enjoy life. Nobody wants to sit there for two to four to eight years to get weight off. They want to get it off and they want it off now. And that's 99% of people. I'm sure you're all going to agree with me. Nobody wants to take forever to get the weight off. They just want to get it off, get into that maintenance mode, feel sexy and good and healthy and, 
you know, all of those things. So it's important to follow somebody that brings real results to the table. Now, I'm not saying you have to stick with me, but stick with somebody that shows real results. I would love if you would stay with me because I love you all and I want to give you the, you know, true facts and things. I was taught professionally. I do believe this is a calling from God for me to help people because I was in a very dark place at one moment and I'm not anymore. And I'm going to go over that in November. Like I said, I'm going to do a four-year anniversary keto and I'm going to go over and show you lots of photos of my journey as I was losing because a lot of you didn't get to know that because I only been on YouTube for about a little over two years and I've been ketogenic for four so you guys didn't get to see my journey I didn't do it on YouTube and I wish I would have been on YouTube so you could have seen that journey how fast I was losing and all that but I'm going to show you photos you're going to see difference in my face my comp you know the complex of my face and just everything that changed as time went on I will talk to you about my story where I was at one time in my life to now and all of that and I will discuss all of that in November it's going to be a tearful very joyful um, just meaningful video and I can't wait to share that with you guys but I'm gonna wait till the four year in November so but that's another thing so one you want to you know use your body fat if it's for weight loss if you don't need to lose any weight I recommend still doing ketogenic now you're gonna be a person that's going to eat higher fat but let's eat the good fats there is such a thing as dirty keto you don't want to do dirty keto that's not gonna be healthy once in a while is okay but you want to stick with good healthy meats Good green leafy veggies, you know, butter, cheese, you know, things like that. You want to eat, you know, bacon, eggs. You want to stick with good things. Avocado. Sorry about that. Alarm went off. <laughs> Always happens to me. But anyways, you want to stick with things like that, like avocado, nuts, good, healthy food foods, real foods, none of this processed stuff. You want to try to stay away from that. It's okay once in a while, once in a while on the go, we have to, but try to stick with good healthy meats and I mean, good healthy uh, foods that are non-processed, okay? And good green leafy veggies. If you want to eat them, you don't have to eat veggies. You can go zero carb like I taught you. If you like your veggies, you can have your veggies. Um, but the main thing is keeping the fat low so you can get that weight off quickly, get into maintenance mode, and feel amazing and start this new life of being thin and healthy, okay? Then the next thing we talked about was I'm um, sticking with somebody who shows, you know, real results. Like I said, Dr. Berg said that. Stick with people that are thin and healthy doing ketogenic that got there, that lost their weight and got there because they must be smart people. He just recently did a video on that, so definitely check that out. If you know Dr. Berg and you've probably already seen the video then, stick with people that show real results because they know what they're doing. Okay, then we'll go on to number three everybody is going to respond differently like I was talking about different sugars throughout my entire journey I could do circlose I could do aspartame I could do fake sugars in the beginning then I got to a point where circlose was a little bit harder for me to do I couldn't do circlose as much anymore as I was losing weight it was getting a little harder to keep my color darker so I noticed that but you have to like I did in my um, video my live video almost two weeks ago when I did that um, I talked about learning your body you need to know your body well I got to a point where I learned I couldn't really do circles anymore until alternate day fasting I found out when I alternate day fast and I go 40 hours without food hitting autophagy that when I have my eating you know window which is eight hour window where I eat I can do circles and still stay in keep you know keto and my sticks stay very dark and I'm still losing weight and you know, obviously I'm in keto and I'm doing it right. So learn your body. That's important to learn your body. Learn what your body can consume and what it can't. You know, if you get to a point where you're stalling, you're doing what I'm telling you, you're doing low fat, but you're just not losing. Well, you're either consuming too many calories for your body or you're eating fake sugars and your body can't have that. You know, it kicks it out of ketosis. So you want to buy those ketone strips and urinate on them and watch and check. And if there is a plateau there, if you're losing, you're doing everything right. But if you're not and you're plateauing and it's going on for a long time, then there's something wrong. You're doing something wrong. You're just doing too many calories. You're going over carb accidentally. That's so easy to do. It is so easy. I mean, there's so many products out there that say zero carb and they're not zero carb like uh, for instance, seasonings all say zero. They're not. After a certain amount, they become carbs. The Pam spray says zero. They are not zero. Once It's for just a, ch that's it. Nobody's going to do that to their pan, that little, ch that's <laughs> how could you even coat your, you know, coat your pan like that? So then it becomes carbs. Um, ingredients, you know, you got to watch your ingredients. I always watched my ingredients, but now within um, me doing my alternate day fasting, I don't have to watch those as much because I'm still in a high state of ketosis because I am doing um, 
alternate day fasting, 40 hours. So there are certain things I'm learning now that I can eat that I couldn't before. Things that, you because know, I want you to really look at an ingredients list. You want to, you know, the, the less ingredients, the better for you. Okay. But if you are like me and you are doing alternate day fasting, going 40 hours without food, there are some things that you'd be able to start adding in and start consuming that you couldn't before. And you're going to notice that you're going to, you know, still stay dark purple on the stick and you're going to lose weight because, you know, I'm hitting autophagy and I'm going so long without food and all of that. So you'll learn. Just learn your body. That's important. But it's important to look at ingredients, study ingredients, know what your body can take in and what it can't. Sweets. Try not to do sweets, even though they are sugar you know, fake sugar. You still don't want to do a lot of them because our brain still tells us and then it keeps wanting it. It keeps wanting it. You know, if you feel like you want something sweet, eat a pickle. That's what I heard. Eat a pickle and you're going to feel no cravings for sugar then. I guess it's because of that salty, you know, sour taste. You just lose the sensation for sweet. So try not to consume too much fake sugars. They're not even good for you anyways. So if you absolutely need it, maybe a woman once a month during her menstrual will need something, then that's fine. Or a guy just, you know, having a rough day, needs something sweet, then go ahead. But try not to consume it too much because it will just make you want more. Okay, um, we just want to eat healthy. That's what it's about. You want to eat healthy, but everybody will respond differently. Some can have diet soda. Some can have diet soda. Some can have Quest products. Some can have Quest products. Some can eat tomatoes and veggies and onions and all of that and you know things like that. Um, I think it's called nightshades. But some people can't. If they have that problem, they can't. You have to learn your body. It's important to understand your body. The biggest thing about this journey is not going into it with just, okay, I'm going to let this person do my whole journey for me and I'm just going to do it. No. You want to do this journey, you know, learn the, the journey, learn how to do keto, and then learn your body, you know, take this in. Give Tell yourself, I'm going in 100%. If you don't go in 100 and 100% or 110%, you're going to fail. You want to go in with a 100% attitude saying, I want this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do, you know, everything I'm learning. I'm going to study myself. I'm going to find out what my body can consume and what it can't. And if I hit plateaus, I know that I'm consuming too much of something, too many calories, too much sugar, too many carbs. You know, you have to learn this. You can't let somebody do all the work for you. If you do the work yourself, you're going to, you know, be proud of yourself more. Just like if a parent buys a car for a child, their very first car. Are they going to appreciate that more than if they went out and bought their own car? I had a piece of tin, but I loved that car. Had my parents bought me a brand new, which my favorite car is a 65 Ford Mustang convertible. Had they bought me that, I would have been snooty and snotty and wouldn't have appreciated it. But I loved my piece of hunk of junk, rusty car because I bought it. Okay, if you work at this journey yourself and you work hard and you learn all of this, sure, you're going to need help and I'm here to help you. I want to help you and I have no problem helping you, but I want you to help yourself too because as you help yourself, learn your body and do all of that, you are going to appreciate it more and this journey is going to be much more successful for you and you're going to be a complete success like me and Monica, my brother, thousands of other people that follow me. You're going to be a total success and you're not going to want to go backwards because you're going to know you work so hard for it. So... That being said, you know, I just want you guys to, to you know, know that it's lo low fat when you have fat in your body, losing, using your body fat. Know that you want to stick with somebody that's going to... Sorry, you got a phone call. Um, but learn your body. Know your body, you know, and study all the stuff out there too and stick with somebody that's showing real results. That's important. And just, you know... Get on that keto train. You are going to be blown away when you see how incredible you feel. I have lost an amazing amount of weight. I had so many different things wrong with me. I was on almost 20 medications. I think 18. I think I was on 18 of them. I'm down to two medications for a heart condition I developed 21 years ago when I had my son postpartum cardiomyopathy. And now I'm down to two, a very low dose. And the doctor said he just wants me on that just to you know, hopefully that the heart wouldn't turn around. He doesn't think it would, but it just helps regulate the blood flow because my blood flows differently through the heart. But I am so much better doing keto than I ever was. But just two of them, you guys, and I was on 18 of them. I had so many things wrong. High blood pressure, high triglycerides, high uh, cholesterol levels, high um, sugar levels. I was pre-diabetic. I've changed all of that. And there's many more things that were wrong with me that I've changed and cured from doing keto. Keto is absolutely amazing. So I want everybody to experience it and just feel what it feels like. And like I said, even if you are a thin, healthy, skinny person, keto is for you too. If you're somebody that's very thin and needs to gain weight, keto is for you. You're going to eat higher fat to gain weight on it. That's what's so amazing about keto is it was designed 
of how we used to eat in Bible time. That's why people live so long. Read the Bible, you will see people lived a really long life because they ate meats, veggies, fruits. Of course, we don't eat all the fruits. We do just berries and stuff like that. But basically, that's what they did. And that's how, you know, they lived long lives. And that's what we're doing now. Our world brought in such horrible foods, donuts, cakes, cookies, candies, chips. I mean, and it's so readily available for us. We can just get it anywhere. And that's why the obese rate is so big and why people are dying so young. I lost my dad at 47. He was only 47 when he died. Okay, or 48. And just too young to pass away, he died of obesity. And that's what's so scary. And so I want everybody to understand and love the ketogenic way of life. Love the way you feel. It is It is the, like I said, the most sustainable way of life. There we go again. I keep getting a phone call. I've shut that off, that notification thing. I don't know why it keeps going through. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. But you are going to love it. So I just hope that everybody enjoyed this video. If you do need any help, I link my, um, sorry, the subscribe button is right there. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of these wonderful videos that help are very helpful. You can go into my playlist and look up Keto Style Mukbangs, the Keto Treats, Miscellaneous, talks about my journey, all of that. So you won't miss it. Definitely um, share around my channel so I can help many. I want to grow. I need my channel to grow. Help me grow my channel. I want to grow so I can help many, many, many people get their life back and definitely shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video because it makes me smile it makes me appreciate and know that you guys appreciate what i do for you i'm giving you all of this free you guys free free of charge i just want to help and if you do need help i do link my email down in the box and i would love to help anybody understand keto get started understand macros and help each and every one of you and everybody that i have helped have had pure success and in fact i'm going to get a hold of these people and get photos from them and I'm going to do a little video for you guys and show you the people that I've helped uh, lose weight. And it's and it's not just a few. It's, it's, it is thousands. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to put that in a video like that. The video would be too long. But it is many people that I have helped get their life back and feel amazing. Hang on. Thirsty. <laughs> um, but get their life back and just feel amazing. And I want to do the same for you. So if you need help, my email is there. I would love to help you. And just remember... Go into this 100%. Know that if it's for weight loss, use your body fat as your high fat energy source. You're going to find, read about it. You're going to find that that's what you're supposed to do. Um, make sure that you study all of this on your own and go into it and understand and learn your body because if you don't know your body, you're not going to succeed in this journey, you know. And if you can exercise, exercise is important. It's always important to, you know, get that heart rate up and all of that. I couldn't exercise in the beginning because I have a bad back, but now I do. And fasting, oh, intermittent fasting and keto go hand in hand. They're so good. So if you can start off with like, you know, just eight hours and work up to the 16. 16 is the best or, you know, what they want you to start with. So 16 hour window where you don't eat, eight hour window where you eat, which is so easy to do. Stop eating after dinner, you don't eat until the next day. We sleep through the night. Most of that 16 hours is being used up, at least eight of it while we're sleeping. Okay, some of it while we're just, you know, getting through the night or whatever. So it's not that hard. 16 hours, then try to get to um, 18 and then try to get to a 24 hour, which is OMAD. And then try to do what I'm doing, uh, 40 hour fasting, uh, 48 hour fasting, two day or 72, which is three day. Fasting is so important. That's going to cure and mend most of the stuff in your body. Like there are people after losing weight, they ask, is there going to be a lot of loose skin? I don't hardly have anything. I've showed you guys. I don't. And I just started doing, I always did intermittent fasting, but just started doing the longer fasting. It eats and mends when you hit autophagy eats and mends old cells and makes new ones and that's why I don't have tons of loose skin hanging down my arm why I don't because I did the ketogenic way of life I did intermittent fasting and now I'm doing longer fasting and now I am doing exercise but I didn't even before that I didn't hardly have anything you do, gotta just keep going till you get all that weight off and know that when it's just a little bit of you know very thin skin that's just loose skin but it will go away and don't worry about loose skin first off ketogenic is going to eat a lot of it but another reason is is the most important thing is just being healthy. That's the most important, right, guys? It's not about having loose skin. It's about being healthy. So do we want to be big and round because we want to keep the skin tight? Or do we want to be skinny with a little bit of loose skin but be healthy and live a longer life? I think I would pick that one. All right. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it wasn't too long. Just wanted to go over a few things with you guys. And sorry, it wasn't a food video, but I do have some good recipes coming up, some new ones again. And yeah, so... I love everybody very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. And always remember, everybody, 
what? Can you guys do it with me? Always remember to keep it keto.